Hi, I'm Jim Gordon. We're at the inaugural TSX Venture 50 Capital Conference in the Okanagan. Joining me now is Jean-Marc Landry. He is the CEO of Grand West Transportation Group. There are over 1,700 companies on the TSX Venture. What does it mean to be part of the Venture 50? I think it's a great opportunity. It's a great, great uh, uh, honor for us to be part of the, the, the top 50. Uh, I think there's a lot of great companies uh, on the Venture Exchange. And to be, uh, to be in the Venture 50, I think, gives us a great uh, visibility um, in the market. So we're really, really pleased to be part of it. Well, what should investors look for in 2019 and going forward after that? Sales. Uh, <laughs> we just uh, came out of uh, two uh, great years of uh, record years, but really our focus is uh, all on sales, growing our, our backlog. Um, we've announced that we really uh, believe that we'll be at 100 million in backlog uh, sometime in 2020. Um, so uh, lots of opportunities for us to grow in the U.S. market. Uh, we're also expanding our product line. Uh, we've recently announced that we've launched a uh, smaller um, version of our uh, vicinity bus called the vicinity LT. Mm -hmm. Well, that's going to open up a, a whole new market for us on the smaller size buses. Uh, so we're very excited about that. It's a larger addressable market than what we have with the uh, our, our vicinity current vicinity. Um, we're also uh, announced that we're fast tracking uh, our electric bus project. So we'll have the uh, vicinity and electric uh, propulsion zero emission uh, sometime later in 2020. So. Lots of exciting things to look for. It's good to hear. Uh, talk to us a bit about the company and their impact on the community it's in. Yes, I'd say beyond uh, the employment and, and the good paying jobs that we have uh, locally, our biggest impact has really been on the environmental side for our, for our customers. Uh, a lot of our customers are municipalities mm -hmm. and uh, really they have goals of uh, uh, greenhouse gas uh, emissions reductions and our bus is 30% more fuel efficient than most of the, the big buses running out there. So I think that we're having a huge impact on that. Our bus is a little bit lighter, so it's not as much wear and tear on the road. So I think the municipalities are the big winners uh, in all of this and we're really uh, proud to be part of that. Talk a bit more about what makes your company stand out within the sector. Okay. I'd have to say that really the biggest thing is, is our business model. Uh, we have a very unique uh, business model in the sense that we, uh, we outsource uh, and partner with, uh, with other companies a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, the main uh, one being the assembly. Uh, we've been very uh, successful at uh, securing some, some, some agreements to do some assembly for us uh, overseas and now in the U.S., most recently, recently in the U.S. Uh, and that's really given us the, uh, the ability to scale up or adjust down if needed um, with, uh, with very minimal uh, impact or cost impact to us. So I think that's enabled us to be able to capture opportunities uh, very quickly when they, when, they are, when they arise and really adjust uh, when uh, in, in different directions when we need to. So I think that would be uh, definitely a, a huge one. We've also partnered with a lot of companies on the engineering side, so we're very quick and efficient to uh, engineer and, uh, and bring new products to the market. So I think those would be the main ones. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you very much.